La, 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 la! I can't hear you. I'm not listening. If you hadn't infected my suit, we wouldn't be stranded here in this forsaken... I object to the term infected. Some of my best friends are viruses. I prefer the term select. Get the hell out of my suit, you annoying little bug. That's Mr. Little Bug to you. And I would love to leave this rapidly ripening Robbie the Robot fat suit, Miss All Natural, but it appears that we are stuck with each other. Besides, there's nothing stopping you from leaving my suit. Actually, Arthur, that's not a bad idea. What are you doing? You took me serious. You're not supposed to do that. You'll be unprotected. Don't drink the water! Commander, I'm receiving a priority message from Frontier Outpost Helm. On main screen. The vessel has ignored all hailing attempts. All electronic systems were disrupted when it arrived. Our station is beginning to drift. Any symbiotry ships within this sector, please assist. Can we make it there in time? No, sir, we're too far. Scanners indicate that there's a large vessel next to the outpost. Wait. Commander, I'm detecting a huge displacement wave emanating from the space around the vessel. There are more ships appearing on the border. All systems are shorting out. Energy levels are up, escape! Outpost Helm, this is a science vessel Oracle. Please respond. Can you hear me? Helm, this is a science vessel Oracle. Please respond. Are you reading me? Please respond. Helm, this is a science vessel Oracle. Can you respond? Do you hear me? They have returned. Welcome to the Journeyman Project 3, Legacy of Time. And welcome back to the Games She Missed series on my channel. I am Lady Lilia, and the Games She Missed series is a series where I look for games that I have missed in my past, or in my young adulthood, or even as a child. I am going back this time to 1998, to a game that is old. <laughs> Uh, this is an awesome game, so I'm told. It is a adventure puzzly game with FMV, as was the usual thing in the 90s, so I'm super excited. This is actually the oldest game I've done so far on Game She Miss, and I really did want to stick to these old games, so I'm, I'm really gonna go back from here on out to these awesome old games that I miss, because these are the main ones that I want to feature. I know up till now I've done games above um, or newer than the year 2000, and I really want to stay um, mostly around 2000 and before, and this one fits the bill. So anyways, this game interested me initially because when I was young, I played the first Journeyman Project game, which I believe was called the Journeyman Project Turbo, uh, which was very different from this game, but it has the same kind of awesome sci-fi time travel and the same general theme. Um, 
and I loved it, but I could never get anywhere. I always got stuck on the puzzles. This game, I think, is a bit easier um, on the puzzles side of things, and it's very, very story-based, and there is a lot of um, voice acting, which is awesome, and the acting actually is pretty good, what I've seen so far, so just a fair warning. Uh, there will be, it's basically like we're going to be watching a movie, so be, hope you're ready for that. <laughs> um, but don't worry, the voice acting is, is very good, and the story is, is pretty good, so I'm told. So we should be entertained for a few hours here as I play through the Journeyman Project 3. So sit back, you know, get some popcorn, whatever, some soda, some coffee, some tea, whatever, whatever's your fancy. We're going to play this awesome game. Uh, new game. Remove the power cores. But, sir, you have your orders, Dalton. Hold it, Will. Agent Blackwood. The decree was just handed down from the Earth World Senate. We can't just shut everything down. This is insanity. We have a responsibility to safeguard history, Commissioner. That responsibility has been revoked. All time travel operation has been suspended. Gage, this comes from higher up. What about Agent 3? She's still out there hiding in the stream. We already know what she's capable of. We can't shut down TSA with her at the large. The Agent 3 case has been closed. There's no evidence she survived. We've scoured the time stream for a month and turned up nothing. She's gone, Gage. She knows exactly how we coordinate pursuit missions. With her training, she could easily be avoiding detection. We're making a tragic mistake, Jack. I have orders to deliver all jumpsuit calls to the World Senate. I will appeal there and fight this with all my influence. Until I settle this, I need you to uphold the suspension and take command of the TSA. Can I count on you, Gage? Yes, sir. Elliot, your fears have been confirmed. The call the last have returned. Oh, I, I should have told him more when he came. Now my people, my planet, are in terrible danger. Old friend, I need you to do something for me. Find peace at last. One thing I didn't tell you, Gage. You're gonna have to do the rest without me. <laughs> I'm the virus. Thanks for the adventure. I'll see you on the other side. What? What's going on? What did you do? What did you do? What are you still doing here, Gage? I was hoping to jog some memories of this. It's strange. I don't remember anything of Arthur. It's not strange at all. You were mind-wiped. 
Those synapses, those memories are gone. Those events had to be selectively erased. I know I shouldn't remember him, but I feel an absence I can't explain. When Agent 3 captured me, Arthur sacrificed himself to save my life. From these logs, I can tell we endured a lot together. I can't recall a single moment. That's it! She just hooked up the pipeline. I need it. I'm gonna swim up and see if I can stop her. Good. Wait. Don't bother trying Gage, to you gotta see this. I got Fallon Prison. It was only ten years ago today that his plot to assassinate the Sirolan delegate during Earth's induction into the Symbiotry was thwarted by the heroics of Gage Blackwood, Agent 5 of the Temporal Security Agency. Sinclair will be remembered as both the greatest scientist of our time and as the greatest threat to Earth's history. Once again, Dr. Elliot Sinclair, the father of time travel, has died at Vega Fallon Prison. Not now! I've pinpointed the rip, origin Mediterranean 1262 BC. It's caused a... Gage. There's a temporal distortion wave heading towards the present and it's amplifying exponentially. Agent 3, she's finally made her move now. The TSA is completely crippled. Will, you have to install a new core for my suit. Commissioner Baldwin took all the cores. We don't have time to construct a new one. There must be something. What about reactivating the Pegasus device? That old time machine? Not a chance. It's been shelled for years. Gage, we're suspended. We don't have many options. Forget the suspension, Will. That wave will rewrite history. There must be a way to stop it. something from me. Damn it, Will. Tell me how to go back while there's still time. There's one very dangerous possibility. Follow me. I'm not supposed to show this, even to you. But under the circumstances, well, here it is. The chameleon jumpsuit. keeping a secret from me. I began working on the prototype about a year ago. It utilizes holo technology, allowing an agent to assume any virtual disguise in its database. It was intended for your deep time research unit. Someone performed a stream dive with it. Well, you'd be the first, but I suppose that's nothing new. Gage, if you go, Commissioner Baldwin may never grant you another command again, or, or worse. Baldwin knows it's my job to preserve history, Will. He'll understand. If he doesn't, then I guess I'll be cellmates with Agent 3 when I get back. Almost out of time, Gage. Use the chameleon device cursor to capture my image. Okay. Use the chameleon device cursor to capture your image. Like this. There we go. Good. Now my image is in your image database. Remember, you can only assume a form that is native to a time zone, which means you'll have to capture someone else's form when you're in the past. Also, you'll need to know how to initiate a temporal jump. Uh, there's a display at the top of the helmet that shows the date and the current time zone. Uh, activate that and choose a location. You should only have one, the source of the distortion wave at 1262 BC. Okay, here we go. 1262, October the 6th, Mediterranean Sea. That's it. The rest is up to you. Good luck, Gage. Thank you. Okay. So, uh... Before we actually get started here, um, 
I just want to mention there may be some starts and stops within the recording that might be noticeable due to the amount of dialogue and uh, videos in this game. Um, that's just because I am having some slight issues recording it and sometimes the audio gets desynced um, to the video, particularly in the cinematic uh, video sequences. So if you notice that, I do apologize. It's just me trying to uh, resync up the audio for your viewing pleasure. So anyway, let's start exploring. Uh, we are now in the Mediterranean Sea, and this looks like the area that Agent 3 was at, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Also, the sound kind of bugs out a little bit sometimes. Um, hopefully it's not too noticeable. How am I moving? Can I do anything? Woo. Please? Woo! I can look up. I can. It looks like I can go this way. Can I not go that way? Um, clickety click click. There we go. Now we can go. I just had to restart the game. Um, I also am noticing that it does bug out from time to time. So there might be some more editing required than I anticipated, but it's okay. Ooh. Hi. Gage, remember the smooth, sultry voice? It's me, Arthur! The Robin to your Batman, the Jekyll to your uh, heckle, the thing to your thing. Why the long face? You remember me, right? Dimples! Remember the... Uh, from your blank stare, I would say that you don't. Oh well, I'm not hurt. But if you don't mind, I'm gonna take a look around and make myself at home. Uh, uh, while I'm checking things out, I have a message from your pen pal. Agent 3? Yes, Miss Joy. She left it for whoever found the suit. My jumpsuit's the cause of the distortion wave. Once Arthur sends it to the TSA, the crisis will be over. I know everyone believes I'm a traitor, and I can't change that now. But what I have discovered is so incredible that I'm willing to turn myself in. But I can't risk being imprisoned before my discovery is investigated. So, you will follow my trail and see what I have seen. I have hidden three pieces of a time code that will lead you right to me. The first code piece is hidden in this environment, not far from here. Arthur has the coordinates for the other two time zones. You will soon figure out why I placed the codes where I did. In two of the environments, you want to go to the highest vantage point. But in the other, go to the lowest. I implore you, keep your eyes and your mind open. And remember that your first duty is to history. The good news is, I know why you don't know me. The bad news is, you were mind wiped. Two months ago, you were taken from the past to help save your neck in the future. Together, we stopped Agent 3's plot to frame you. But I got zapped into the time stream with her in the process. Once your name was cleared, the TSA sent you back to your own time without any memory of the adventure, so you don't remember me. But we're back now. Together we'll find Agent 3 and bring her back alive. Oh, this will be more exciting than a pair of pants full of geckos. Uh... First of all... Just like before, I'll display icons for you okay. to talk with me. Okay. If I have a comment, the thought icon will illuminate. If you want my sage advice, check the light bulb and see if I have any help. Oh, and I took the liberty of moving into the old translator biochip. So, I'll be your universal translator now. The new coordinates are in your jump menu. Lead on, Gage. Okay, so wait. I, they took me... They were in the future and they took me from the past to do something in the future and then they put me back in the past so that's why I don't remember what happened in the future and then I met this guy and agent 3 and what I'm I'm confused this I hope hopefully it becomes more clear uh you know as we play on here he said he was my sidekick to help me discover 
Agent 3 doing something evil or her plot? But isn't she a good guy? I'm so confused. All right, let's, let's just explore a little bit here. She said to go to the highest vantage point in two of the places and the lowest in one. Uh, I'm guessing this is the one that we go to the highest in. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. Um, very nice. That view. derelict boat seems to be in a hurry to leave the island. Hold on, there's somebody on that boat. He looks familiar. Call me time space happy, but I swear that's Dr. Elliot Sinclair, the scientist who invented time travel. The guy you put away for 10 to 20 at Vega Thalon. Oh my goodness. He could be Sinclair's distant cousin. And you know what that means. Baldness is hereditary. Ha. Ha ha. So that's the the evil guy? It's okay. What's he doing in a rowboat, like randomly in the place that I teleported to? Hello? Elliot Sinclair match certainty 97%. My goodness. Okay. Hello? Can I talk about this? Question. Rope ladder. Okay. Ooh, can I take his 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 likeness? In my suit? Oh no, I can't click on it while I'm in here. Never mind. Alright, is this the end of the road then? It looks like it might be. So we go back this way. So you move around a bit like in mist in those kind of games, it looks like. Um, there's no actual like movement keys. You just click in the direction that you go and the game puts you there. But it makes for a bit of a, you know, cinematic experience, that's for sure. And then we can go, we can turn and go in here. I'm assuming we need to use the rope in here somewhere. Can we use it? Okay, maybe we have to go up the stairs first. Ah! Okay, so I can walk. Oh! I didn't mean to actually do that. I can go over here, and then over here. Can I go to this door? No. Okay. So here. Oh. Then I can look up. So Well, I probably want to be over here. Where am I putting the rope ladder? Can I use it? How do I use it? Can I drag it on myself? Uh. Game? Help. Help, Mr. Man. Oh, he's got a bulb. If we overcome these stairs, we could get to the top of the windmill and have a nice view of this entire island. Oh! But I don't see any other way to go up other than those broken stairs. Actually... Maybe if I threw your legs over that bottom step and climbed up your spine... <laughs> God, I wish I had a body. Oh, maybe it's like actually a ladder ladder um, so that I can kind of put it across the stairs. Is that what I'm supposed to do? across the broken stairs? No? Uh, am I doing it right? I'm not sure. Whoa! That doesn't help me at all. It kind of showed up for a second. Oh! It showed up for a second and then went away. Damn it. According to history, this uncharted island never existed. 
However, we are relatively close to Thera, an island that erupted in a huge volcanic explosion a few hundred years ago. The crater it left became the island of Santorini. Okay, that's interesting, Arthur. Thank you. The thing I'm confused about is where you want me to attach this rope ladder to, because I think I've tried every spot. And I don't even know if I'm doing it right, honestly. If we only had some sort of climbing device. Rope ladder! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, rhymes with Pope ladder? Uh-huh. Wait. Arthur the all-knowing is seeing a rope entwined in your future. I see a rope ladder, much like the one in your inventory. I see you hooking the rope ladder onto the broken stair. I see you climbing up the ladder. I see... Whoa. I see you have a tight-fitting jumpsuit. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. So it says to the broken stair. Okay. That's what I've trying to been trying to do for the last hundred years. Arthur, how do I attach how do I use items? Help me. I'm confuzzled. Alright, uh I've decided to leave this episode here. <laughs> Cliffhanger will Gage ever get to the top of the windmill? <laughs> Join us next time and find out the exciting conclusion. Um, <laughs> with the help of his trusty sidekick, Arthur the Virus, they will together become a genius and best this obstacle. But anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, everyone. Um, I am just going to look up the controls really quick and see what I'm missing. It's probably really obvious and I'm just dumb, which is usually the case when I'm playing games. But anyways, it has been over 20 minutes, so I'm going to end now. We'll be back next time with some more Journeyman Project 3. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this game. Um, I'm really curious to know if anyone else has played it or if you've played any of the other two previous Journeyman games. Journeyman Project games. Um, I loved the first game, but like I said, I could never get anywhere in it, but I bet you if I played it now, I could figure it out, because I was, I was so young when I played it the first time, but anyways, enjoy your evening, and uh, I will see you next time, everyone, in episode two. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the Games She Missed series, and thank you for watching this LP. I'm excited to get on with it, so I will shut up and end the episode. Bye. Money, 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 money. Oh no, a trap! High focus increases your chance of avoiding damage from traps by evading. Oh. Do you have something to say? If your friend is in danger, you shouldn't. Alright, yeah, okay, I just. I'm dumb. I'm sorry, I thought you had.